वेलकम बैक गैस सो इन माई लास्ट एम यू डेक वीडियो आई हैड शोन यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल आर पी सी एस सी प्ले स्टेशन थ्री एम लेटर ऑन स्टीम डेक आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग इट आई इंस्टॉल इट्स फॉर्म वे इन दिस वीडियो आई बी कंटिन्यूंग फ्रॉम द सेम पॉइंट वेर आई लेफ्ट ऑफ इन द लास्ट वीडियो विल ऑल्सो भी शोइंग यू सम गेम प्ले ऑफ डीम एंड सोल्स अलॉन्ग विद इट्स सेटिंग्स आई हैव कनेक्टेड माई ब्लूटूथ माउस एंड की बोर्ड टू स्टीम डेक दिस इज स्टीम डेक रनिंग इन डेस्क टॉप मोड so before starting them later let me just show you its directory where emidec installs it just open dolphin explorer then go to home emidec basically installs the flat pack of rpc sc so i'll open the standard directory where flat packs are installed it's the dot bar folder just make sure show hidden file setting is enabled open the var folder then open the app folder Here you'll see all of the emulators that Emudeck has installed on your Steam Deck internal storage. There's the folder belonging to RPCSC net dot RPCSC dot RPCSC cache folder config folder. Open the RPCSC folder. From here you can access the configuration files. Don't tweak anything from here. Close. Go back to Steam. so i'll just open them later its interface is a bit buggy when accessing them later via steam's gaming mode that is why i am accessing it via desktop mode after installing the firmware you will be able to boot into playstation 3's xmb you can select it from here then click on play xmb will boot as of now you can't boot games from the xmb now i'll explain how to add games to them later there are two ways of doing this we can install the pkg file of the game using the emulator and then provide the corresponding rar file this is the first way second way is much easier we can just provide the bdrep folder of the game don't need to provide the rar file we will also be able to run the game off an sd card this is the method that i'll be using in this video so let me show you emudex rom directory just open dolphin under removable devices your sd card will be shown primary open emulation open roms here look for ps3 folder there it is open it and there is the bdrep folder for my game demon soul this is the folder structure ps3 underscore game folder contains all of the files so in order to add the game to them later just click on file click on add games navigate to the same directory where the rom is present memory card emulation roms ps3 there's the game selected then click on okay as you can see the game has been added to the list this is the game serial id version number now let me show you how to add the game to your steam library just open emudeck go to tools and stuff from here open steam rom manager click on yes steam will be closed just go to preview click on generate app list scroll down you can see demon souls have been detected just click on save app list close then open steam just go to library and another playstation 3 section you will see demon souls its box art has also been loaded this has been done now i'll explain how to update any game updates are useful in fixing game related bugs some patches require updated builds in r to run this is my own rpcsc windows guide video uploaded on youtube in its description i have provided the update process just copy this line of text then open rpcsc discord page in the search bar paste the line of text here you need to provide the serial id of the game for which the updates you want to download just go back to rpcsc from here you can obtain the serial id for the game just right click on the game then go to copy info then click on copy serial no updates for demon souls are available but i'll still search for them and just paste the serial id here hit enter you can see no update information available in case any update file is available 
it will be in the form of .pkg let me just download this update file for last of us version is mentioned 1.11 download has started in case the download does not start just right click on the link then click on copy link address open a new bar right click here in the search bar click on paste and go download will start there you go click on show in folder there's the file in the downloads folder of steam deck go to rpcs3 click on file click on install packages go to the download folder there's the pkg file select it click on open this prompt will show up asking for your permission whether you want to install the package file or not i won't be installing it in case you want to install it just click on yes after update has been installed version number will get updated now i'll explain how to install patches for any game the process is very simple just go to manage go to game patches the game list will be completely empty for you when the first time you open patch manager just need to click on download latest patches click on ok now just look for the game for which you want to apply any patch there's demon souls expand it here you'll see different serial id and builds of the game expand the one that you are using i am using version 1 of the game and this is the serial id so I'll expand this one, last one. From here you'll see different patches. I have enabled this patch, unlock FPS. Description for the patches has been provided. In case you want to disable the motion blur, just check this patch. Entirely up to you. I'll keep it enabled. After enabling any patch, just click on apply here. Then click on save. That's it. If you are looking for the per game settings for any particular game, just refer to its RPCSC wiki page. For example, let me just open the page for Demon Soul. There you go. Here you will find the recommended settings. CPU configuration, SPU block size set to safe. And other fixes will also be mentioned here. Very useful. Maximum spur set set to 3. Helps with performance. Don't mess with this. If you have a CPU with more than 6 cores and 12 threads, as you may experience performance loss. Back to them later. Now RPCSC supports safe state feature. In order to create a safe state, just need to press the Ctrl plus S keys together. This will end the gameplay session. I would not recommend using safe state feature. Size of a safe state can be quite big, ranging from 400 MB to 1 GB. This depends on the game. The feature can be a bit buggy sometimes. If you create save states in a short span of time, the older save state can get deleted automatically. Now let me just show you the game's per game settings. In order to access them, just right click on the game. Then click on change custom configuration. First we have the CPU settings. I'll stick with the default settings here. SPU block size set to save. This was mentioned in the game's RPCSC wiki guide. Then go to GPU settings. Render set to Vulkan, aspect ratio set to 16 is to 9. Most of the settings here are set to default. Right color buffer setting enabled. Resolution has been set to 720p. If you want to increase the upscaling resolution, just move the slider from here. 200%, 1440p resolution. I'll stick with the default 100% resolution 720p. Then we have the audio settings default, nothing tweaked here. IO settings default, system settings default, network setting default, advanced setting. From here, I have set the maximum number of spurs threads to 3. This is for this game only. These are just the per game settings, not the global settings. I have left the global settings to default. From emulator tab, I have enabled the enable performance overlay setting. Debug setting default, that's it. Click on apply, close. Now we are ready to run the game. So I'll run Steam in gaming mode. Recent game section. From here you can launch the game using its individual title or the emulator itself. I'll use the emulator. Let me just show you its Steam input profile. Just tap on this controller icon here. I'm using this profile, gamepad with mouse trackpad. Made a few changes to it. Scroll down. 
I have mapped the L3 and R3 buttons of Steam Deck to the L4 and R4 back grip buttons. I just don't like pressing the sticks. This is optional. L4. From here, select the L3 button. For the R4 back grip button, select the R3 button. Then just go to trackpads. For the right trackpad click button, select left mouse click. That's it. This will make the navigation process easier for us to move the pointer. I'll just use the right trackpad now. Select our game, Demon Soul. Then click on play. Game should be starting. 